Hello hockey fans and welcome to the USPHL premier all-star selection show. I'm your host Dan Kemchek and alongside me as always is Lucas Jones. Lucas we have Team American taking on Team National. Can you start off with uh, Team American's roster? I can Dan. So for Team American we're going to start with a name that hockey fans should be familiar with. Brendan Van Riemsdyk from the Islanders Hockey Club. Six foot four inches, 200 pounds, from Middletown, New Jersey, committed to New Hampshire. Ace Cohens, also Islanders Hockey Club, five foot seven inches, 155 pounds, Beverly, Massachusetts, committed to Vermont. Brendan Susi, Islanders Hockey Club, five foot ten inches, 175 pounds, from South Dennis, Massachusetts, commit to Army. Brent Bowden, Islanders Hockey Club, five foot eleven inches, 185 pounds. London Day, New Hampshire, commit to Brown. David Schmidt, Jersey Hitman, six foot even, 188 pounds, from Elmwood Park, New Jersey. Alex Whalen, Jersey Hitman, six foot even, 207 pounds, from Ramsey, New Jersey, commit to Kinnipiac. Walker Summer, Jersey Hitman, five foot 10 inches, 168 pounds, from Avon, Ohio. William Vizzo, Pal Junior Islanders, five foot eleven inches, hundred and eighty-seven pounds, from Shelton, Connecticut. James Anderson, Pal Junior Islanders, five foot ten inches, hundred and seventy-eight pounds, King Park, New York, commit to Mercyhurst. Ben Freeman, Connecticut Junior Rangers, six foot four inches, two hundred and five pounds, from Falmouth, Maine, commit to Connecticut. Gabriel Chabot, Rochester Junior Americans. Five foot nine inches, 175 pounds, from Quebec, Canada. We're going to round out our forwards, Stan, with Nicholas Marin from the Springfield Picks. And that, of course, leads us into the defense. Got to bring the defense. Defense. Max Daegu, Islanders Hockey Club, five foot 10 inches, 195 pounds, from St. Lambert, Quebec, commit to Vermont. Will Brophy, Islanders Hockey Club. Six foot four inches, 205 pounds. From Fairfield, Connecticut, commit to Holy Cross. Joe Kinsella, Jersey Hitman. Six foot two inches, 188 pounds. From Naperville, Illinois. Tanner Salzburg, Jersey Hitman. Six foot two inches, 196 pounds. From Cypress, Texas. Joe Duzak, Pal Junior Islanders. Five foot 10 inches, 182 pounds. Franklin Square, New York, commit to Mercyhurst. I'm going to go ahead and stop myself right there, Dan. Yeah. I want to talk for a second about Joe Duzak. He leads the league, points and assists, and he is a huge contender for player of the year. A defensive powerhouse, a name that's recognizable throughout the league. He is absolutely a showstopper, and he brings it every single game. He is one to watch out for. I mean, he's a guy who you can pencil in right away at the next level. You're going to see him right away making an impact at the D1 level. Absolutely, Dan. We'll continue with Brendan Dawson from the Connecticut Rangers, five foot 11 inches, 165 pounds, from Medway, Massachusetts. Blake Robertson, Springfield Picks, six foot one, 205 pounds, from South Lyon, Massachusetts. And finally, we'll go to the goalies. Anthony Tirabasi, Islanders Hockey Club, five foot 10 inches, 175 pounds, from Niagara Falls, New York. Tom Auburn, Rochester Junior Americans, Five foot eleven inches, hundred and sixty pounds, from Chamonix, France. And Justin Catola, Pal Junior Islanders, five foot eleven, hundred and sixty-five pounds, from Coquette, Minnesota. Now let's move into Team National. You know, this is where a lot of guys are going to be finding out whether they're going to be playing in this game. This is a big moment. You're watching at home. I I know that this is this is a big moment for all of you. First, I want to take a second to to congratulate everybody who's made Team American. But now let's move into Team National and let's find out who rounds out the other side of this All-Star game. We're going to go to uh, first the forwards. Timothy Doherty from the Boston Junior Bruins. He's a 5 foot 11 inch tall, 185 pound forward from Portsmouth, Rhode Island. Next, Charlie Kelleher, also a Boston Junior Bruin, 5 foot 8, 185 pounds out of East Longmeadow, Massachusetts. He's committed to New Hampshire as well. Going to be playing alongside of Brendan Van Riemsdyk. But in this game, they'll be playing against one another. John Picking, he's a forward from the Boston Junior Bruins, five foot nine inch tall, 170 pounds. Wellesley Mass, he's a Northeastern commit, going to be a uh, 
not just a great place to play, but a great place to learn, Northeastern. Jack Kilty next, Boston Junior Bruins. He's a 5 foot 10 inch tall forward, 185 pounds out of Millis, Massachusetts. Moving on, we go to Patrick Flynn from the South Shore Kings, 5 foot 11 inches tall, 170 pounds, Framingham, Massachusetts. He's a Dartmouth commit. That's an Ivy League player right there, folks. Once again, the USPHL doing more than just creating athletes, but creating great students in the classroom. Michael Booth. Let's go to the South Shore Kings again with him. 5 foot 11 inches tall, 187 pounds out of Kerry, Illinois. Next, we go to Ron Greco, a Philadelphia born and bred forward from the Philadelphia Flyers junior hockey team, a hometown kid making it onto the All-Star team this year. Aaron Huffnagel next from the Philadelphia Flyers junior hockey team. He's a six foot three inch tall, 195 pound forward from Marlton, New Jersey. Tough to deal with, with the size of Aaron Huffnagel. Nick Polsonelli is next. He's been a scoring machine this year for the Philadelphia Flyers junior hockey team. 5'11", 200 pounds from Galloway, New Jersey. Moving on to the Syracuse Stars, Ryan Harper. He's a six foot tall, 180 pound forward from New Canaan, Connecticut. Congratulations, Ryan. Now we go to Joe Scorpio, also a Syracuse Stars teammate of Harper. Scorpio is a 5 foot 9 inch tall NCAA commit from Elmwood Park, Illinois. Moving on, we go to Daniel Lesser from the Okanagan European Eagles. A little European flair there. 6 foot 2 inch tall, 187 pounder. He's the leading scorer for the Okanagan Eagles, and he's from Vienna, Austria. We go to the defense now. This is the backbone of this team. This is going to be the guys that are going to be making the big hits, blocking the shots, and making things happen in an all-star game of this magnitude. Starting with Corey Moriarty, we go back to the Boston Junior Bruins, 5'11", 180 pounds, Worcester Mass, and he's going to be a catamount, folks. This is a UVM commit. Clay Hahn next, another junior Bruin, 5'11", 180 pounds, from Liberty Township, Massachusetts. Now Nick Albano, he's a Portland Junior Pirate from Beverly, Massachusetts. Congratulations to you, Nick. Moving on, T.J. Dockery and Dominic Dockery. The Dockery brothers, both from the South Shore Kings, both in this game. T.J. is out of Lockport, New York. Of course, so is Dominic. T.J. six foot, 200 pounds. Dominic, six foot two, 170 pounds, and he's a Merrimack commit. Congratulations to both Dockery brothers. Now we go to Liam Feeney from the South Shore Kings, six foot two, 210 pounds, out of Foxborough, Massachusetts. Liam Feeney grabs a uh, spot on this all-star team. Moving on, Rich Brusco rounding out the defenseman. This is your final defenseman, your seventh and final. Brusco from the Philadelphia Flyers junior hockey team out of Blackwood, New Jersey. He's 5'8", 150 pounds. Goalies, we go in net, we go between the pipes, go in the crease. First, Teddy Lobro out of South Shore. The South Shore Kings goaltender, 6'2", 190 pounds. Out of Wellesley, Mass, he is one of the leading win-getters in the USPHL Premier this year between the pipes. Connor Minch from the Portland Junior Pirates, he's six foot five, tough to deal with, tall goaltender. Think Ben Bishop when you think Connor Minch. Let's go to Brandon Kazel, the final goaltender, the final name on this roster. Brandon Kazel from the Syracuse Stars, six foot two inch tall, 175 pounds out of Ithaca, New York. Lucas, this was a tough roster to put together. We talked to the people who were behind the scenes putting it together, especially Sean Trombley at the helm of this, and they, they talked about the difficulty, the names that had to be left off of a team this good. You know what? I know what we're going to do. We're going to go right to Sean Trombley. We're going to ask him a little bit about the process and about some of the players that might be playing in this game. Coming up next. Dan Kemchek and Lucas back here 
in the USPHL studios bringing you the All-Star Selection Show. We've brought in what I would call a USPHL expert. He's a, he's a coach of the Islanders Hockey Club, currently in first place in the Premier. Coach Trombley, how you doing? Doing well. Doing now, very good. Coach, I want to I get your opinion on some of these guys. You played against all these guys. Now, you coached against them. You know, you've seen all these guys on the ice. Can you tell me some guys that stand out to you on these rosters? Yeah, without question. I mean, uh, there's so many good players in this league that every night you just know it's going to be a hard-fought game, and, and two points are just very hard to come by every single night. So, uh, But there's no question, you know, when you're going up against a, a line like a, a Timmy Doherty, Charlie Keller, and John Picking, uh, you better have your best D pair on the ice. Yes. You know, they're dynamic. You know, they seem to have eyes in the back of their head and know where each other are. And, uh, you know, they move it, they shoot it, and they compete, you know, which is, I think, you know, what makes them so special. Exactly. And you got to have it. When you have those guys, you just can't get mismatched. If you do, you're going to probably give one up, you know. It helps to be the home team when you're playing them. <laughs> exactly. Now, <laughs> we move on. You know, we have those three, three guys from the Bruins. Anybody else you're looking at? Well, I think it's going to be kind of interesting, you know, on our side. You know, obviously yeah. we've got a few good players on the Islanders as well, and I think, yep. you know, when you know we may try to match them up against a Van Riemsdyk, Cowens, and <laughs> Susie, uh, you know, which lead our team one, two, three, very similar to them on that side. Yes. Um, and, you know, and obviously they've been right on our heels pretty much from the <laughs> get-go within a point uh, for almost a month, you know, with neither team really hiccuping along the way. So... Uh, I, I think those guys, it won't be your typical all-star game either. I, yeah. I think that's the one thing that's been kind of unique with us in the past is, I mean, I go back even six years ago, we had a fight, <laughs> you know, really? which, hey, it's great. You know, of these course, kids, get them into it. These kids are competing, you know. I mean, yep. they're going to be in front of their future bosses, Yes. you know, at the Division One level with the Division One coaches there. So yep. it's not your typical NHL all-star, you know, or in this year, three-on-three -three format. These guys... <laughs> you know, are showing that they can earn a job next year in college hockey. So it's going to be a heck of a game to watch. Coach, an incredible game coming up. Can I just got one more question for you here. With these, with this type of a game, you have a lot of guys from the same team. Are you going to, do they keep these guys together on the lines in this? Do you mix them up? Do you try to get different looks? For the most part, you do try to have some familiarity to make sure that the game has a good tempo and a good pace to it. But got it doesn't it. work got out it. perfect. I mean, you're going to have some guys that are going to play with each other for the first time ever. Yep. Um, but their skill takes over. They're there for of a course. reason. They're so talented. Uh, and it's just the, the puck has a whole life of itself because of the display that these guys bring. It's going to be a fun, fun game to watch. Folks, you heard it. You heard it right here from the guy who knows. This is going to be a fun game to watch. It's going to be a very fun Martin Luther King Day up there at Merrimack College. It's a beautiful facility, beautiful place for an incredible all-star game. We're going to bring on Mike Klein to talk about a few more players next. back here on the USPHL premier all-star selection show now with world junior insider Mike Klein to give us another perspective on this game but Lucas you know a world junior insider the USPHL had a, a lot of involvement in world junior play they did Dan you know the USPHL led all U.S. junior hockey leagues and the most active players at the World Juniors this year. They had a really strong showing. And you know, that's something I even wrote an article about that is now in USA Junior Hockey Magazine this month's issue. You can go get it right now for free at any rink in the league. But you know, with that in mind, Mike, you had USPHL.com backslash World Junior blog where you were running this, the players were writing about their experiences, you were writing about the games going on there in Helsinki, Finland, and all throughout Europe. Now, Mike, 
with all that background in World Juniors, you've seen the style of play here, the quality of play. Can you tell us a little something about this game, who you think might win between Team National and Team American? Oh, well, Dan, this is, uh, this is definitely one of the... Uh it's definitely one of the most predict difficult predictions I would ever have to make. Uh, this, there are a ton of great players all throughout the Premier Division from top to bottom, and the All-Star Game. I mean, it's it's not even the cream of the crop; it's the creme de la creme. These are the top players in the top division. This it you know, it, it took a lot of uh, took a lot of sort of internal deliberation, but I I would have to go with Team American. Team American. He's going with Team American. What what led you to that? I think. Well, I, I do believe that uh, Joe Duzak from the Pal Junior Islanders is is the top player in the division, and they have him on the blue line. He will be anchoring that, and I think he is he will he will be what pushes Team American over the top. You know, when you get a scoring defenseman involved, especially in an All Star game, good things happen and you know what good things are happening the USPHL premier all-star game it is going to be at Merrimack College on January 18th you gotta be there to take it all in if you can't get there watch along on fasthockey.com once again for the USPHL premier all-star selection show I've been Dan Kemchek Lucas Jones we had Sean Tremblay on earlier alongside me world junior insider Mike Klein we thank you for watching everything on the USPHL network and we hope you keep doing so.